Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com 10 part tutorial series on the Nexus One, also known as the Google Phone. Now we went through the initial setup process, and what we're going to do today is actually set some custom options. This is the default lock screen, we just pull the lock icon across to the right to unlock. And we see here presented with a live wallpaper. This is a neat feature of, uh, of Android 2.1. We can actually have motion wallpapers. We see here that I believe this one's called a neural net or something like that. This is the default though. And this is exactly the screen you'll be presented with when you first boot up the device. So let's change the wallpaper. To do that, we press anywhere on the screen, anywhere that's free, and hold it down for a second. Now we see we're presented with a menu. We can add a shortcut to an application or folder. We can add a widget, we can add a folder to organize our applications, or we can add a wallpaper. In this case, we want to customize, so we're going to go into wallpapers. Gallery, this is where we'll find pictures that we've taken with the included 5 megapixel camera on the back. Live wallpapers, those are motion wallpapers like the one that we're seeing running in the background, and wallpapers are just still image wallpapers. In this case, we'll select live wallpapers. I'm going to choose Galaxy because already, I've already checked this one out a little bit and I know that I like it. So this is what it's going to look like on our screen. Choose Set Wallpaper. And now we see that we have our new wallpaper applied. And one of the cool features is that we can actually scroll to the left and right on the home screen by just swiping our finger and see the different screens. This is a, a home screen that's blank and we can add whatever we want, widgets or different applications. We'll kind of slide back here. You can see the Galaxy view changing. Now we have the leftmost home screen that we can also completely customize. So let's go over to this screen here where we have a little bit of free room and we're going to add in, let's say, the Facebook widget. So we see here, all we have to do is tap on this and we'll be able to log into our Facebook account. In this case, we have to accept some terms and conditions. So we just input our email and password here and we can actually get Facebook updates from our friends on the home page of our Android phone. We're not going to do that right now, so let's go back home and take a quick look at one more widget. We can add a calendar widget, we can add an analog clock, music is, uh, links in with our music application pre-bundled. We could add a favorite picture onto the home screen, so if we have a live wallpaper we could choose to have, um, say, a picture of our significant other on the home screen. Now as we install applications from the Android Marketplace, we'll see this widget screen filling up. So if, for example, we install Weatherbug, we'll see uh, a, weather app, a weather widget that we can add to the home screen. So one more thing I'd like to show you really quickly. We can actually create folders to organize our applications. So as our, as our pages fill up with um, applications that we use often, we can actually bundle them into folders like productivity, uh, work-related, those kinds of things. So in this case, we'll just select a new folder, a new blank folder. Now this is kind of strange to rename a folder. I would assume that we'd be able to give it the folder a name before we actually put it on the desktop. But in this case, we have to press and hold again for a second, open it up, and then we press and hold on folder. And this is where we actually enter a name for our folder. And we also get our first look at the on-screen keyboard. And we can see here that there's some auto-correction um, software running in background. So we can just choose Butterscotch here and hit OK. So that concludes this installment of our Nexus One tutorial series. Be sure to check out the show notes on Butterscotch.com. For Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.